In this video, we're going to work on a Troy Belt Storm 2665 snowblower that will not start. Uh, it sat all summer with gas in it. Um, you can see the, the choke is on, the key is in, prime it, and throttle's on. And it doesn't want to fire. So we're going to do some troubleshooting here and figure out what's going on. All right, before I even started recording this video, I made sure that the snowblower had oil in it, and it does, it has gas in it. So we're taking the spark plug out. I'm gonna connect it back up here. We're gonna hold it against the valve cover to ground it out, and then we're gonna push the button and see if we have spark. And we have spark. So why I have it apart with the spark plug out, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of starting fluid um, in the top of the cylinder. And then we're just we're gonna, by doing that, we're just gonna make sure it's gonna fire, which I suspect it will. Um, I'm thinking that the carburetor is, is clogged up, it's got bad gas in it. Those spark plugs back in, put that on. Interesting, it doesn't even want to fire that way. All right, let's pull this off. And you gotta pull this knob off. Just be careful, you gotta wedge it off. And it's plastic mounted on plastic in there. So you just gotta take your time with it. And it'll eventually just slide off. Just gotta get the prime line and your key switch out of there. And we'll take these. You don't have to take these off. I always like to because it makes it a little bit easier getting it on with the stem on there and all that. I'm going to spray starting fluid in it again. All right, good. I must have not sprayed enough in there first time. All right, next we're going to remove the fuel line. Looks like there's old gas and new gas mixed in there. Pretty typical. Remove these two nuts that hold this on. And you got your line that comes off the valve cover. Gotta pop that off. And just kind of slide it out. Got to take off the line for the prime line here. Sometimes it likes to be stubborn. Just got to remove the spring and the linkage. All right, just tear this carburetor apart and just I can kind of see the old gas coming out. 
So I bet you that's all it is. It's just that gas in there just would not ignite. But while we've got it apart, we'll make sure all the jets and passageways are clear. Yeah, I keep dropping everything today. Move this pilot jet. You can see I left the float and the needle on. I don't think there's any reason to take that one off. This is the main jet. So there's a little pinhole here. So make sure that we can see through that. It's a bowl of air through it. And see the little hole? I'm holding it up to light to make sure that we can see through it. And I can, but it is partially clogged. Yeah. You know, I can see there's gunk in here. So I just got a wire that I run through these. Just kind of run it back and forth. Blow some air again. Hold it up to the light. And it looks like it's clear now. And pilot jet, same thing. There's a little hole right here in the tip. Make sure that goes in, which it does. That is good. And we got the emulsion tube. You can actually see right in the tip, there's a little bit of buildup there. And then there's all these little holes. So I'm gonna take my wire and poke it through each one of those. And then I just got some carb cleaner. It's gonna spray it through this passageway. Make sure it's going through where it should, and it is. Same with this guy. And then I'll spray a little bit down here. All right, let's put this thing back together. Motion tube, main jet. Put our bowl back on. A nut. Put your pilot jet back in. And put the idle set adjustment screw back in. And then I just set it well, about like, like that. All right, let's put this thing back on. Now what I'm gonna do is get this back together enough just to test out that it does run. And we'll slide that carburetor back on there and hook up your linkage. And then you got your spring. Gasket back on. Put that back on. There's this little metal washer that goes on that plastic piece too. So they make sure you don't lose those. They never really stay in there. And then we'll hook our gas line back up. We'll hook that prime line back up. And now we have it together enough where we can put this in run 
we can choke it, we can prime it, and then we can try to start it. How many of you caught that the linkage on top of the carburetor was not connected? I swear I put that thing in there and I started it off and it was just run that full throttle there. I looked at it and I'm like, the linkage is not hooked up. So one reason why I put it together this far and make sure it's right, because I don't want to put this plastic cover back on and have it be wrong and then have to take that all apart again. But it is running, so we just need to get the cover put back on and get the bolts on and put the choke lever back on. Then make sure you get the wire for the key in here. And then your tube for the prime here and it goes up right there there we go I'm put these bolts on Choke lever, knob, whatever you want to call that thing. 